Okay. We are up. Took off with the wind off the back right side. A little chilly up here. I had a, you know, I always get comments uh, on my videos, and uh, I've had a couple interesting ones lately. I had one uh, guy that uh, basically, you know, said that, isn't there anything else you can talk about other than how high you are and how fast you're going and uh, what your distance is from the runway and so forth? And uh, another guy said, uh, instead of telling you, telling everybody how high you are and how far you are and how fast you're going, you ought to get this application and just run it on your uh, camera. And, uh, that way it will show everybody and they can look and you can talk about other things. So uh, I shoot out of my GoPro 4, so it doesn't have the uh, application that allows you to put GPS tracking info. Uh, my 7 does, and I have done it before. Uh, and when I did it, I really didn't get a whole lot of comments about it or anybody say anything about it. Uh, I do remember that the time was off. And I don't know that the speed and everything was tracking exactly like it was supposed to, but anyway, I may go back and I may try that. I don't know if you can leave your comments. What do you think? Should I put a GPS tracking on the screen and stop talking or play music and just let the tracking go? Uh, I've flown over Plainfield and I've uh, and I've flown over. West Lafayette, Dresden, and all this area so many times. I think I've talked about it. Uh, I don't know any local gossip to tell you. Let's see if I can turn this strobe sideways. I don't know if it helps any or anything. I can spin it all sorts of ways. Uh, on takeoff, it didn't come off the magnet. We'll see what happens on landing if it comes off the magnet. It's really a strong magnet, so I don't expect it to, but it's possible. So we've been flying for eight minutes, and we're kind of over here by the runway in this area. It's still pretty green here. Lots of the corn and the soybeans are still here. About 33 miles an hour as we turn with the wind. 36, 38, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Got a pretty good wind up here. Doing about 14 miles an hour up here. And we're driving down here at about 350 and uh, we picked up to about 17, 18. So uh, the wind's aloft or a little bit more wind up there. All right, so we're uh, flying for about 15 minutes, about 280 feet, doing about uh, 18, 19 miles an hour, pretty much into the wind. I've got my trims at three. I could open those up and gain some speed. Going to treat the wind a lot easier. But I'm not in a big hurry. Just grab onto the wingtip steering. Just kind of hang on to it. I'm getting a little pull to the right. Even with my offset uh, risers, I could lean to the left. A little body shift, that'll, that would also work. Straight ahead you can see kind of the sandy color brownish uh, feel. That's soybeans uh, ready for harvesting or just to give it a little bit more time, but that's what they start looking like and then they'll go really brown. 500 feet, 16 miles an hour, 17. Flying for 17 minutes. I am now the talking GPS. Plain field. And down there is the tractor store of Massey Ferguson. Uh, it's one of the only Massey Fergusons in the area. It's probably the closest one in 100 miles. There you go. There's a little trivia for the for those that want to hear about the area. Here's a house being built. It's 
straight ahead of me. It's been been being uh, built for two years now. I remember when they asked me to come by and take pictures of it when it was being built. They're still building it. Of course, if you live in a house, I think you always build it or working on it or something. 41 miles an hour. Of course, when I get down, I'll look at my fly sky high. It'll say that I was doing top speed of 200, so. And I haven't touched my trim or let any trims out, so that, uh, there goes the theory on change, adjusting trims and having a momentary full speed drop. There was some discussion on Fly Sky High on some speeds that people were getting. And uh, I've seen almost 200 miles an hour on my Fly Sky High, and I know it's got to be a bug because I've never gone 200 miles an hour. But uh, there's folks that have come up with these theories that if you adjust your trim, that momentary drop as you adjust your trim, uh, you were going 200 miles an hour at that moment. So, and if you're going with the wind and there's a possibility that you did 200 miles an hour. You know, if I was doing 200 miles an hour, I could look down and as I was passing everybody on the freeway and on the, on the local roads, I'd know I was doing 200. And I'd probably see vapor trails coming off the back of my wing. Put a new spark plug in my uh, monster this morning after 10 hours. There, I talked about different things instead of altitude. Speaking of altitude, I'm 264, flying 31 miles an hour. I'm flying for about 23 minutes. It's uh, 725. It's a beautiful evening. David is straight ahead of me, way over there. We try to keep a, a lookout for each other. We don't have comps. We tried using Senna, but after less than 500 feet away, the Senna stopped working. We could get the bow fangs and connect up some bow fangs and talk on those. We, uh, we tried uh, using uh, Zillow, and that worked okay, but David has changed telephones with different systems. Uh, he had a uh, an iPhone, and he went to an Android, so I don't know if Zillow works on Android as well as uh, iPhone. I know it works on iPhone. I'll have to ask him about it. We have talked on uh, cell phones. We've called back and forth. Uh, usually, uh, when there's something, we have a great question to ask each other, but normally we don't uh, talk. I don't listen to music, because if I turned on the music, then you wouldn't be able to hear me talking. So, but I guess if I got the GPS app and it said the time and how high I was flying and everything, and I connected my GoPro 7 up to my helmet, uh, I wouldn't have to worry about talking. I could just listen to my music. You know, that guy had a good idea. Maybe that was a good idea. Stop talking. Listen to music and let automation take care of all the info. I don't know if this is good as uh, as Kyle O'Glee would say. Is this good content? I don't think my content is good as Kyle by any means. Neither as good as Tucker God. This is more for the old folks cha <laughs> channel. So uh, you didn't know it, but you just tuned to the old folks trike channel where we fly low and slow and we play old music on the videos. Most exciting thing I ever talk about is 
getting hungry up here. It seems like every time I fly, I get real hungry. Used to go out and eat afterwards, but with this pandemic going on, I don't need to take a chance of catching anything that I won't live through. So there's David up there. I think you can probably see him on my camera. His strobe is uh, flashing and he's got his hoop lights on. I took my hoop lights off when I repaired my hoop. I plan on putting them back on. I'm just waiting for Tucker Gott to tell me where he bought his uh, LED uh, uh, lights around his hoops. Little uh, Guardian Angel uh, is bright. It has its own battery pack that just runs like an ever ready battery. Energizer Bunny. I had talked about possibly putting it in my wing. I don't know that I'll do that tonight. That isn't something I would normally do, but I am open to it and uh, had the wind behind my back and wasn't sure I wanted to put extra weight. It doesn't weigh that. It doesn't weigh that much. Been flying for about 30 minutes. David's flying probably for about 45 minutes, 50 minutes. He went up ahead of me. I was in slow motion today trying to get ready and get up in the air. 7.30, still have another hour of flight. Uh, we're pretty close to that. I think sunset is... Uh, somewhere around maybe 8 or a little bit before, 7.55. Then a half an hour after that, running strobes. Going to turn off the Guardian Angel. My eyes are starting to get a little buggy. Just going to turn it on the inside here see if it just really will get buggy. Put it out here. That's a little better. I don't see it now. I'm going to put it on the front end of my trike. You can still see it in the mirror. I'm thinking about the front end of my trike, but I'm also looking at another mount. Uh, I'm going to contact Guardian Angel and, and uh, ask about another mount that they have. And I may put it somewhere else. The sun is looking really pretty out there. It's going to set. Oh, I'm going to move that strobe so when I land I can see where I'm going. And we'll see if it'll bounce off when I touch down.